Good morning. Hello and welcome to the video. It's about 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning and it's an away day and it's a game day. I actually made a similar video to this last season and it went down pretty well so just sort of following what we're doing on a big away day game day. So I thought I'd do it again. We, we as in Birmingham Mosley, are playing Taunton, so right down south in Cornwall. At 3 o'clock today, it is mid-December, so when I tell you it's freezing, it is bloody bolting. So right now, I'm merely just trying to find the energy to get out of bed. If I do achieve this and manage to start the video, personally I think that would be worth subscribing to my channel and liking this video and I would really appreciate both of those things. Without further ado, let's start the video. Let's go! Just taking a quick pause in this video to bring you some very sad news. Unfortunately, since filming this video, a friend of mine and a dear friend of the channel, Erin Sadler, sadly passed away. Erin was one of the sweetest, strongest, bravest people you will ever meet in your entire life. Unfortunately, Erin suffered from multiple life-limiting diseases and illnesses such as vasculitis, heart disease, liver disease, and Erin relied on blood transfusions to stay alive. At the age of six, Erin had had 107 blood transfusions, which is an incredible amount. All of my thoughts, all of my love goes to Helen Sadler, Erin's incredible mum, and the entire family at this unimaginably difficult time. Erin featured on multiple occasions on this channel. I believe my third ever video was actually meeting Erin and just take a look. Pickles have honeys. Yeah? Like honeys? Mm -hmm. Not your honeys. I don't know how you feel about Play Doh, Erin. <gasps> I hope you like it. Do I open it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you like Thank it? You. Oh, you're welcome. You're I very love welcome. it. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> Fairly recently, I started an awareness raising campaign called E for Erin. E for Erin is all about raising the awareness of the importance of giving blood and why you need to give blood. Whilst Erin is sadly gone, there are so many children just like Erin who need blood transfusions simply to stay alive. If you would like to find out more about E for Erin and potentially become an E for Erin ambassador, please contact me. Just lastly, Erin, your memory will continue on. You will be an inspiration always and I hope you sleep well. Back to the video. We are en route. Just had my morning coffee. Support local businesses. So this is how it's going to work today so i'm getting on the team bus but look i'm not good at geography but we left from northampton the bus is going from birmingham to taunton so it didn't make sense to go all the way to birmingham to then go down i don't know but i'm meeting the bus at services so we are en route to said services right now it is present it is cold it is fresh at the moment very hopeful that the game is going ahead haven't heard anything different i'll obviously update you as we go we're on route to the services to meet the boys get on the bus get the vibes going and yeah it feels like a game day but it feels like a cold one Hey T, how are you feeling for today's game? It's a big one, you know, three games on beat and make it four. It's cold though, isn't it? It's a little bit chilly. It's a little bit Tell you where it's not cold, Qatar. Come on England. Come on boys. Score prediction? 2-1, 2-1 England. 2-1 England, nice. Go Do you want to know a fun fact about the three lines on the chest for England? Go on. <laughs> they are not lions. Well, what are they? They're actually leopards. In heraldry time, whatever it is, they didn't know the difference between lions and leopards. They were just big cats then. So if you notice, like the Aston Villa badge, a lion is always drawn stood up. 
Right. The laying down ones are actually lepers. So when we sing three lines on the chest, it's, three lepers it's inaccurate. The chest. Historically inaccurate. How are you feeling, Ollie? You look Never excited. Heard it before. Never heard the song? No, the leopard story. Ah, good in it. It's good. Where'd you work that from? Just it's just in the bank up here, really. One of many. How are you feeling about the game, Ollie? England game? Yeah, obviously. I'm going nil nil, one one, penalties. Ooh. Matt Marsh. What's your score prediction for today's game? Well, not the rugby. Uh, two nil England. Two nil England. Ooh. Interesting. Right, three seat. What's your tactic today with the scrums? How are you going to attack the scrums? I've got an idea, but you go first. Yeah, see, I was thinking if, if they push a certain amount, just make sure we go and like, push a little bit more. Laws of physics, we will go in the right direction. Physio corner with Ellie. What have you got there? Um, physique, therapy, range, massage, lotion. Back of the bus, treats, I would say. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is a family friendly channel, I will have to remind you. What is your three words to sum up how we can win today's game? Are we on about rugby or England? Go rugby first if you want. Okay. Um, pass well, catch well, tackle well. Six words, but nice. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Let's get your take on the game, please. Yeah, I thought it was alright. I think the uh, first half came out firing. Really, really good. Second half, they came back. Let's <laughs> start a game. We've got a potty mouth over there. This is my time to shine. Keep going, keep going. It's good. Yeah, so I think, obviously, last bit, we sort of fatigued a little bit. Taunton came back, and uh, unfortunately, I got a yellow card last play, which I still don't believe is a yellow card. Um, at least you've let it go. But at least you have let it go now. And then a uh, bonus point win, so four out of four, unbeaten. On to the next one. See you top He's of back. Week. He's back. That one debut today, correct? What happened as soon as you came on? Don't leave any bit out. Was that a rock? Ball came out. Yeah. Took a little scoop. Yeah. Straight through. And then you, you threw the ball up. Threw the ball in the air. And then you said that one's a piece of piss. <laughs> that was bad. That bit. Okay. Well done, bro. Well done. Hi, uh, this is Bruce Hampton, uh, Chairman of the MSA. Uh, fantastic result today, really pleased. Um, fantastic try by Freddie Painter. He's uh, the, the thing won the game. Uh, so, fantastic. Five points. What, what, would, what would you rate my performance out of 10? Oh, I today? thought you played very well, Dan, but um, that, that, first, that first conversion miss uh, oh, could have been classic. very costly. Yeah. So that, go from a 10 to a 9 out of 10. How about that? Oh, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Well, thank you for the support as always. Mate, really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. So, first away win of the season. How good. Uh, yeah, the boys were unreal today, especially up front. 
um, really good to get the result. It was absolutely Baltic, but we got through it. Um, it is now time for England versus France. I'm actually more nervous for this than the rugby, but we had plans to watch it in a little pub. Um, they weren't actually showing the game, we got absolutely lied to. So we are currently on the M4, looking for a services that are showing the game, and we're still gonna fly into it there. Come on, you three lions. It is the morning after, and I still can't believe it, I feel sick. I really thought we had it. I just feel so bad for Kane, man, and the ref was a joke. In lighter news, it turns out a welcome break services is a lovely place to watch the football. We got there just in time, just before kickoff. We got a little bit of food and we found somewhere to watch the game. It was a surreal experience because it was fairly empty. This is actually quite entertaining. Let me show you the moment that Kane missed the penalty. Spoilers if you haven't watched it yet. Because you can see the reaction of the Burger King employees, which I think is quite funny. <laughs> Right, that is that. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please can you click the like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. And as always, keep on the DL.